Hello, hello, hello. Ref to take Ralph here. Now, anybody who doesn't know me, I'm usually on um, YouTube, dropping videos, faffing around and just taking stuff to pieces, really. But it's Saturday afternoon, so um, I'm, I'll try on Twitch just as once, I think. So, I'm in the office, usually I'm in the garage, stripping stuff down and faffing, just done a um, teardown of a um, plus two keyboard for a Spectrum. It's kind of a little bit dirty, not too, too bad. I've had been worse keyboards than that to get stripped down. you have got better quality on this, but I can't get my um, proper video camera to stream on here for no reason. So just bear with me on this, we'll be fine. So that's done. There's a video coming up on, on YouTube about that one anyway. So if you're interested and see how, how it strips down. Right, I got a donation a while ago and it's a, um, yeah, one of these beauties. So what I'm going to share with you now, we're going to take this thing to pieces. It's a keyboard from a BBC Master. Now I'm not sure this all works to be honest. So what I need to do, it's absolutely filthy and I need to get this stripped down. Let's take the keys to pieces. A little key puller. They don't seem difficult to pull out these I don't think. Let's sort of see if I can without, yeah, beautiful. I haven't tried these yet, the um, the keyboards. So whether they work or not, I don't know. The full bag of machines. I've been told not to do any sort of, oh, powering up on the computers until I've got these fully done. So I might as well, while I'm trying to diagnose and wait for payday, to be honest, to get new parts for these, I might as well just strip these parts down and give them good cleaning. Now, these are really easy to come off these. If you look on there, the keys are cells. Look really quite, just, just slot straight in. Well, that might, the crappy camera zoom in at all. Come here, bleeder, zoom in. I'll zoom in, focus in. Oh well, I stuck it out there. The look of it, they do is pull straight off. I've had one before where it's been a pain in the arse. I'm getting a bit tricky to come off then. I need a better way around doing these. The key pull is nice, but I think there's an easier way. That would be an easier way. Just sit here pulling these keys off. I've actually got two. <laughs> this one's a lot more grubbier. Especially around the U, the K, the M, the H. Yeah, so I've got to do both of these. So this one wasn't too too bad really. I don't know whether to take this out fully. Oh, hold on. That's a better way of taking them off. Use the edge of the key puller. Da, 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 da. Yeah, a few emails. That's what you can hear in the background there. Don't worry, it's not yours. Just man. Oh, that's a lot easier just using the edge. Just putting the key pull around it. Either side, and then you can do it one handed, I suppose, but just using the edge pull, 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 pull. There's a bit of rust under here. 
far as I'm aware, I got this. I got this last month, and the donor. I think she's aware that it actually does work. I was told not to plug this in, no matter what. No matter what I want to do. So, pastors on the power supply are obviously going to be, well, for me, not obvious. For other people, it's obvious that there's going to be um, problems with this. One BBC keyboard off. Now I've got ah, there's a couple of hooks underneath here. Apply it on this, see if I can get out of there. Good, that's off that side and that side, so it has all the keys off. That's going to be a problem to put back on again afterwards, but I'm sure we're um, up to the task to do that. Now, can this be stripped any further? That's what I'd like to know. There's no screws holding this on. Should this not just pull off? Feels rather solid. Let me have a look here. Now those look like they might twist, press in, and pull out maybe. No. Three, damn it. I think I'll be opening up a massive can of worms trying to take the keys off of here. I guess for the keyboard, there must be a way onto it. Just don't know. I'm not certain how these buggers come off. Let's have a look. Let's try bottom right key. There's one there. Let's try squeezing these two in here. Nope. Um, get the alcohol out and get it down good clean. So why is that there? What is that? around. I don't know what that does. There's no mechanical part underneath, it's just circle rivet. Hole in there. Too drunk, or I don't know. It looks it, to me, it looks like all these would have to be unsoldered to take the board off. 
But they're getting me as well. You can see on there where the LEDs are behind. It's kind of one big blob. And I have to take that off. Something there I'm not happy with. Right, it's cow pull. It's almost like it's been glued on. Hmm. Aha, aha, something is covering the LEDs. This is a super glue. See, it looked to me like it were a massive, silly blob of um, dis corrosion. It's not. Super glue on there. I don't know why anybody super glue that unless this is hitting parts of the board and it's shorting out. That's why you need to cover it over. Hmm. Anyway, no. Okay. Off. Thanks. Get drunk. Oh. I put a streamer marker on. You turned up. the winning battle this. Try to take this to pieces. I think I've just got to take the keys off, clean the crap out of the keys and then hope for the best. So um anything rusty on there will probably stay there. I mean I could potentially Scratch your marker pen over. That doesn't look very good. So, um, I don't know. I think I might have to just take this as it is. It's old. I think you see masters, what were they about? 86 maybe a little bit earlier than that it can't be too scared of these they're gonna break, they're gonna break. That means you can fix them. In the condition some of these I get in. Actually some of them aren't bad at all. Different. 
over. I mean, this is more of a test anyway as well I don't know Twitch is a gaming platform more than anything stream on Twitch I don't know patients. See, at least there's no too much crap on here anyway, so it's just down to its basic basic parts. All I can think then is to remove the switch is you must unsolder from there, which means anything that's trapped inside is stuck there for a while. I can't see through that because that's bent over. Yeah, it's all the paint that's come off over the years. Work. So it's not like I need to unsolder any. All the rust's got through anything. It's just surface rust. It's just annoying rust. I feel like a pen or something. Like a rusty eaten pen in black and paint all around it. That might be my best option. All this blank behind it should be fine. It's not galvanised enough. So okay. I think in the stream anyway, I've not, oh, I don't know, no comments so far. Okay, no worries. Catch you next stream. Bye. <laughs>